Hi, happy Monday, and welcome to Torah Today with me, Chavi Rappaport. The Torah is as relevant today as yesterday. Truma, this week's Torah portion. Va'asuli mikdash b'shachanti b'tocham. Hashem commands that the Jewish people should make a sanctuary for him, and I will dwell in their midst. You know, Hashem just gave the Torah to the Jewish people. It was the holiest, all-encompassing spiritual experience where everyone was just absorbed and enveloped in so much pure truth and divinity connecting with God. Why did God need this home made by the people? This is his sanctuary, his dwelling place, his garden, his private chamber, and this earth with the people's involvement. What kind of a CEO or leader are you? Do you take charge of the project solely, or you distribute, make it a team effort, make it an all-encompassing involvement of everybody on the team. And we can take a very good example from Hashem. And Hashem said, I want you to make, to build this temporary sanctuary. It was temporary. We had a temple. Well, that was permanent, not anymore. But it stood in one place. The Mishkan was temporary. Why was it important? Because Hashem wanted immediately the involvement of everybody on a constant basis to travel with that special home, with God's presence, exclusively because it was everyone's effort. And everybody donated chuma, a donation, whatever they wanted to. So gold, silver, God, there was copper, there were 50 other materials like linen and and precious stones that went to the breastplate of the high priest. And the women contributed as well, weaving the threads for the curtains and the covering of the art. It was a magnificent production. And then, after all was contributed, the artisans, Ahaliyev and Betzalel, finished with the construction. And Hashem specifically wants each one of us to contribute. When I contribute to something, it has so much more meaning. It is something I've invested into, and it becomes personal, mine. And the word truma has the word in it, leharim. It uplifts. When I donate, I agree to the fact I acknowledge that something else has more value, is more important than my own personal needs. And every time I contribute, I am kind of elevating everything that I have, all the money that I have, to this purpose. Now is a time when we can really experience that, when we are trying to donate as much as we can, monetarily, money-wise, maybe clothing-wise, to our brethren, our sisters in Eretz Yisrael, in the Holy Land. And Hashem says also, I want this, my home, in the desert. Sometimes in life, we feel like we're in a desert. We feel lifeless, or we don't see the presence of growth in our life, or we don't feel maybe even God in our life. And Hashem says, I'm here with you, especially when you put in the effort in your desert, in those desert moments of your life, those bleak moments in your life, and even in those moments when you personally aren't growing, you're not in a place of growth. I'm always here within, bitocham, within you, in this, in your beautiful sanctuary. 
And let us take this lesson as leaders, as project managers, as CEOs, as parents. Never just to stand from above aloof and take charge and create our own vision. But let us include, whether it's our children, our students, our team, so that every project is a communal project and then everyone feels it is theirs and there's nothing more beautiful. Have a beautiful day.